Welcome back to CBS Mornings here at 730. And as Republicans take control of the House, Hunter Biden, the president's son, will be a target for investigations. And that means data from a laptop reported to belong to Biden could be crucial to the investigatory process. CBS News has obtained its data not through a third party or political operative, but directly from the source who told us they provided it to the FBI under subpoena. And we commissioned an independent forensic review to determine its authenticity. Senior investigative correspondent Catherine Harridge joins us now with what we found. Catherine, I'm very interested. Good morning. Good morning, Tony. These House Republican investigations are coming, and that could be a challenge for the White House as we head into 2023 and 2024. The laptop data we had analyzed showed no evidence it was faked or tampered with. Digital forensic investigator Mark Lanterman was previously a member of a Secret Service Electronic Crimes Task Force. There was one thing that got my attention, and that was a voicemail. It's dad, I called to tell you I love you. I love you more than the whole world, pal. Gotta get some help. That voicemail, apparently from Joe Biden during his son Hunter's drug addiction, is one of many findings Lanterman used to authenticate what is believed to be Hunter Biden's laptop data. You're confident, based on your analysis, this is Hunter Biden's data and that it's real? Yes. This Delaware computer shop is where the laptop's backstory begins. Their records indicate in April 2019, Hunter Biden took his laptop in for repair, but never paid. After 90 days, the store considered it abandoned. Then in December 2019, the FBI subpoenaed the store's owner to turn over the computer and a portable drive of its data. Whatever happened to Hunter? During the 2020 election, versions were widely shared by Republican operatives, including Rudy Giuliani. We have the entire hard drive. But questions were raised about whether additional files were added to those versions. Then-candidate Biden labeled the laptop controversy disinformation. What this he's accusing me of is a Russian plan. CBS News approached the lawyer for the computer repair shop owner to cut through the noise. We've always had uh, one clean copy. And obtained a copy of what he says they provided the FBI under subpoena. Then we went to Minneapolis for an independent analysis. Were you paid by CBS or anyone else to analyze the data? No. No. I wouldn't want anyone to think that someone bought our opinion. Around the corner, it'll lead you to what we call our imaging room. Lanterman and his son, Sean, both digital forensic experts, recovered images of credit cards, a driver's license, social security number. Just the sheer volume of what we're dealing with, it would be difficult, uh, if not impossible, to fabricate. And explained how files built up over years. It accumulated over time, which is consistent with normal, everyday use of a computer. There's some reporting about folders being added. We have read these um, articles. We don't see that. So I believe that that's because we have a more pristine copy. The laptop and its contents have fueled Republican interest in Hunter Biden's business ventures. Hunter Biden was working with Chinese nationals. They say this May 2017 email outlining a proposed business deal with a Chinese energy firm is one reason why they have questions about whether President Biden benefited. We're prepared to subpoena Hunter Biden. We would certainly hope that he would want to come before the committee and clear his name. Two of Hunter Biden's former business partners, including Tony Bobolinsky, who received the email, told CBS News the 10 held by H for the big guy is shorthand for 10 percent held by Hunter for his father. After the email became public in 2020, the author of the email told The Wall Street Journal Joe Biden was not involved. The author has not responded to CBS News's questions. <laughs> Mr. Biden has consistently denied knowledge of his son's work or financially benefiting from it. I've never spoken to my son about this. Last month, Senator Chuck Grassley wrote this letter alleging bank records and financial data showed that Hunter Biden and the president's brother profited from a $5 million wire from a company connected to CEFC, the Chinese energy firm. They're going to look at every part of the Joe Biden administration. Doug High is a Republican strategist. A lot of this is also going to be aggressive on 
Hunter specifically. We're going to hear a lot about the laptop. Who profited? Was the law broken? Was it not broken? After two years of scrutiny, the laptop has not produced evidence President Biden directly benefited from his son's business deals. If there's dirt there, that will dirty him up. If not, those attacks can backfire. The White House declined to comment. Hunter's lawyer did not address our specific questions about the data or the CBS forensic review, but said there have been multiple attempts to hack, infect, distort, and peddle misinformation regarding Mr. Biden's devices and data. And at no time did any individual, including the IT repair shop owner, Mr. McIsaac, have Mr. Biden's consent to access his computer data or share it with others. The lawyer also referred us to Hunter Biden's memoir, where the president's son slammed the despicable opposition that purported to have a laptop belonging to him. Gail. Mm, could be a lesson to pay your bills. $85 could have changed everything had the bill been paid. Thank you very much, Catherine. Always good to have you here. Good You're to welcome. see you.